Five years ago, I set out on the most epic adventure of my life, riding a bike to the South Pole. This is my story. Last week, I reached the halfway point at 85 degrees south. I wired my gears to my spokes to be able to keep biking, and I made plans to bike 30 miles a day to be able to end my expedition early. Do 30 miles every day for the rest of the time. This has been a long, hard journey, and uh, it's it's time to uh, put it to an end. Uh, I'm now at 198 nautical miles left. Um, we're just gonna do a little quick calculation here. 198 nautical miles and times that by 1.15 is 227 miles. So um, that's uh, just slightly more than uh, how many miles Lodija is. What I'm going to do is I am going to um, work on on these days where I don't have great weather. So while the weather's really windy or poor visibility, I'm going to try to do my normal at least 16 miles. And uh, the slope is uh, <clears throat> still still quite a bit of climbing, but there's it's kind of like uh, waves in the ocean, like uh, swells in the ocean. Go up and down and up and down, but uh, each swell is a little bit higher. And I have, uh, I have about uh, 3,000 feet left to go in uh, elevation until I get to the pole. Should be a bit of climbing for a day or two, and then it uh, mostly levels off. Still uphill, but pretty slow slope. As soon as I get my cache, which uh, is at 88 degrees, so that's about uh, 66 miles or so away, um, I get my cash, put uh, the food I need from that in the thing, and uh, and I get a good uh, travel day. I am going to make a run for the pole, so we'll see if it works. If it takes a 24 hour of riding or more, I'm going to try it and see if I can't get there and get done at uh, three miles an hour. Um, you know, at uh, <laughs> 24 hours in a day, 24 times three is an easy thing, but my brain's at 72, so it'd be uh, more than two days of straight biking to do it at the speeds I have been doing, but maybe with a little bit less slope and, and a little bit of determination, I can pick it up to four, four miles, four or five miles, um, especially after I get the new wheel and, and uh, <coughs> things working better there. So it's, it's a dream, it's uh, probably not really obtainable. Um, if that first uh, first good uh, weather day doesn't come till I have about a hundred miles left, then maybe it is obtainable. I'm going to try uh, pushing hard this week, see if I can't finish this week. The reality is, uh, to make it by Saturday, I'd have to do about 33 miles a day, and I've yet to get a 30 mile day. So, <clears throat> so being able to finish by Saturday is is a pretty um, aggressive. Uh, goal, but uh, I'm going to try, see if I can't do it, because uh, I'm ready to go home, um, ready to get to the pole. This has been a long, hard journey, and uh, it's it's time to uh, put it to an end. So, so uh, that's my my goal is to push as hard as I can every day from now till till I finish, and see if we can't uh, get done before. Uh, well, before too long. Okay, so it's cold.
It is, oh, I don't know what day it is. I've been uh, doing this so long I lose track. I think it's, okay, so it's Monday, January 6th. Um, it uh, was uh, a, a hard day for me today. Um, it was cold and windy and I really didn't want to get up because uh, I, I just didn't feel like working in, in the wind. And, that, and I, I was wanting to do a, a real early ride to uh, get in lots of miles. I've been wanting to see if I could do 30 miles a day and uh, um, I'm giving up on that idea. I, I just can't, I can't get, uh, I can't get it in. The Today the climbing was uh, too steep. There was one hill that was uh, super steep and, and uh, um, full of uh, um, crevasses. So uh, the, the crevasses were, were uh, pretty small, but uh, um, they, they still were uh, pretty scary. So um, I had, had a lot of climbing today. I'm now um, just uh, 2,000 feet uh, um, lower than the, than the South Pole. So I've got uh, another 2,000 feet uh, um, that I've got to gain. Uh, but it um, gets higher and higher and so so just keep keep going up and down so there's more than 2,000 feet of to total climbing to do. The sastrugi were really bad today. They're uh, really sharp and steep narrow uh, slots about that wide sometimes more more like that wide and when they're when they're about that wide then that's big enough that uh, if, if I hit hit them with my front wheel then I would be get a complete stop and flip my bike over and uh, and then the, to add to the problem, um, at the halfway point, I took the brakes off my bike to uh, make the bike lighter. I didn't think I needed the brakes, and so I took the brakes off. And and uh, so uh, as I navigate through the sastrugi, trying to uh, get through them without uh, dropping into the the big holes in them, sometimes I get trapped and start down into one of those one of those big drops and and uh fortunately i was always able to hurry and get my feet down and uh, and didn't really ever have a serious crash but it uh, was uh, pretty scary i'm uh, now past the 87 degrees south point so i'm i'm uh 12 miles south of uh, 87 degrees now so i'm more than uh seven out of ten on the way to the pole, so so I'm I'm getting there. Uh, if you uh, watch the cartoons and you see like when the rodent is going underneath the ground, he leaves a little hill going along. There's routes like that all over there. They're about uh, six inches wide or so, just these little bumps that look like rodent tracks. When I first saw them, I thought, man, I wonder if those could be uh, um, crevasses. And uh, then I saw one that uh, Juan had uh, punched uh, a hole in with his ski pole and I looked at it and uh, knocked the hole a little bit bigger and, and sure enough it was a little crevasse that just went on down deep into the snow just turns blue and goes down as deep as you can see. Scary that way and then there, when I called in uh, my position to ALE, the logistics company that's keeping track of me and, and making sure I'm safe, I called in to tell them my uh, position and stuff and they informed me that there's two crevasses at that 87 and a half point. Tomorrow I, I get a, a resupply cache. The crevasses are about a mile south of my resupply, so I'm going to get my resupply tomorrow and set up camp. So tomorrow will be um, the, the resupply is at about my normal distance that I go, about a mile short of my normal distance. So I'll get to the resupply and, and uh, stop there for the day. And then uh, when, when I start going again, I have to... Uh, watch real closely for crevassing and then go a little bit further west than originally planned and make sure I don't fall into one of those uh, crevasses. So so this is the, um, you know, that the scary part of the whole expedition as far as that's concerned, I guess. Uh, the When I first started 
that uh, I think it was the second day or so, somewhere along there, I actually stepped in and opened up a crevasse and fell partway into a crevasse uh, early on. Since then, the, there hasn't really been uh, crevasse issues. Uh, just uh, um, yesterday and today, I started seeing seeing uh, these small ones in the in the ice and some pretty good sized ones. I think uh, I think they've uh, had problems with the vehicles falling in uh, into them before. So there's some uh, real danger coming up here in the next couple days and then uh, after that it should be safe uh, the rest of the way to the pole. So the slope it uh, narrows or it uh, gets to not being as steep as what it has been. I actually have a picture of it that I always look at to try to figure out where I am so let me this is kind of kind of uh, an interesting uh, a picture of a picture <laughs> a video on let's see if that uh, shows up but uh, yeah so there there's what I've been uh, looking at and huh I know maybe it doesn't work to see it so I'm now uh, past uh, most of that serious climb um, the serious climb um, ends uh, just just above uh, 2,500 meters, and I'm at uh, 7,400 feet. So I'm pretty much uh, done with the more serious climb. It uh, continues up uh, at a, a decent slope now for quite a ways, but not not as steep as it has been. And then. Um, and then it uh, pretty much levels out and, and one short uh, incline before the pole. Of course, the, the detail on, on, the, on that uh, profile map is, is, not, uh, is, as, uh, is not really high detail. So a lot of these small up and downs don't show up on the, on the profile. Because, but uh, you know, it just keeps going a little bit down and then more up and then down and more up. And so it'll continue doing that the rest of the way. So I'm, I'm uh, tired and uh, a bit scared tonight uh, about uh, what, what's uh, up ahead. I've resigned myself to getting uh, 16 to 20 miles a day. Then uh, I think I finish uh, in a week from Saturday, and so that will be my goal: is to try to get there by then. It's getting harder and harder to get going in the morning. Um, looks like I'm not getting good battery charge on the battery on this, so I don't know how many more of these I'll be able to do. But uh, um, so I'm kind of slow getting going this morning, but I'm about ready to head out. Uh, it looks like they placed my cache um, a lot further east than what uh, the route is that I'm supposed to take. So I'm it could be a bad thing. To the east, there's a, a lot of crevasses that uh, are pretty dangerous. And so it's supposed to go around to the west. But uh, they were saying there are some pretty bad crevasses just south of my cache. But so my plan is to follow the original route as planned down to uh, the, as far south as my cache is. And then uh, leave my uh, one, leave, leave one sled and all the stuff out of the other sled out of camp and uh, get the shovel and, and the other sled and go pick up the cache, head east, go pick up the cache and come back uh, to where I'll camp. And so that's my plan. Hopefully I don't fall into a crevasse. Hopefully this isn't the last uh, um, video I make. Okay, so here we are again. Bike being stuck in the and all the mess around. These are kind of cool fins.
I'm headed. And my shadow is the only one that walks with me. It's kind of a cool little bin on the top of the accessory in my bike there. So, there we go. Okay, I'm in camp. All fogged up. How do I unfog it? Okay, so I'm at my uh, three quarters of the way point. Um, my cache is uh, um, about about four miles east of here, um, surrounded by crevasses, so I'm going to go out and try to find my uh, cache, and hopefully I can get it without, uh, without uh, falling into a crevasse, and uh, then I'll return back to here. Um, so uh, this, is, this is the scary part. Uh, um, there's been actually a lot of crevasses, uh, small ones, um, the last couple days in in the path that I've been taking and uh, if uh, <clears throat> uh, the, the big there's big ones uh, in in the direction I'm headed so so yeah I'm, I'm scared um, hopefully this uh, isn't my last day as I was uh, riding today one of the bad songs I have on my one of the bad songs I have on my iPod is uh, Rihanna's Russian Roulette. And uh, as I was listening to that, uh, I just felt like I'm playing Russian Roulette here. And uh, it's uh, something I have to, uh, I have to go through and, and uh, I, I really have no choice. I have to go out there and, and get my cash. And uh, so... Um, <laughs> uh, this, this uh, hopefully isn't my last uh, post, my last uh, video. Okay, um, I just got back from uh, retrieving my cache, and it's in there, and I got a special gift, a wheel, and so I'm going to uh, take that and put it together. Um, my, I was going to try to f film myself, but my other camera um, is still too cold, and so it lens is fogging up. So we'll just have to film with this one. Um, <coughs> but uh, I, I've, uh, I'm so grateful to have that uh, new wheel. I can uh, now uh, get my bike in uh, good working order. And so um, let's see what's in the cache here. First, I gotta get the wheel off. Hmm. I don't know that uh, I'm going to be able to do the unveiling. I can't hold the camera in. I pulled open my cache and uh, found uh, found these treats in the cache. <laughs> Been so long since I've had something nice and uh, sweet candy that like um, so man I'm I'm uh, very very grateful for that
Okay, I'm gonna attempt to record this. Let's see if that'll work. I'm uh, I'm going to uh, change out the wheel, so bike shop in the in the tent. Um, I got the old wheel here here. And uh, one spoke's missing that uh, broke earlier and I took it out. So there's another spoke broken there. And a third spoke broken there. So I've broken three spokes. Um, it's all, the cassette's all wired to the hub to try to make it work. And it survived this long, but it's uh, been a miracle that it's uh, survived this long. So. So we're going to uh, switch over and and uh, get the new get a new wheel going. So there's my new wheel. Built by CM. The South Pole. Somebody sent me some Christmas gifts. I should save some for on the trail, but they're so yummy. I keep eating them all. So they sent me a lock ring tool, but I have no wrenches for it. But if I take those, that set of Allen wrenches and stick it in there, that's going to work pretty good. So use that new cassette and then Jake and the guys at Epic Biking I made sure I had the tool and the cassette I got it from a bike shop in Punta Arenas Here we go. A working free will and cassette. That's that's the most awesome thing. Um, almost as awesome as this candy that I should be saving some of. One of the scary things is I run really low air pressure to get traction and. Uh, I glued the tire to the wheel so that it wouldn't slip on me with the low air pressure. So moving this over, it will no longer be glued on. So it looks like I got the inner tube glued a little bit. But there's the old wheel. We'll set it outside the tent so we can have some room to work in here. That's my alarm saying it's time to get up, get going. I didn't go to bed yet. So today will be a long day because I have not had I got uh, my tent set up. I went and fetched my cash and now I'm putting the bike together and by the time I get all this put together and ready I'll have a short day for biking so I won't get uh, my full miles in today probably Just about 
there. My uh, retrieval of the cache was a, a lot of work. I had to navigate through uh, some 12-foot uh, sastrugi and uh, and uh, a lot of work getting through that, uh, slow and difficult, and uh, then climb a big hill, um, and then uh, get the cache and the wheel and everything, and then uh, come back through that same route. And uh, so it took me about uh, six hours. It was about uh, eight and a half miles worth of travel, so pretty much lost half a day doing that. I'm going to pump it up a little bit hard to start with so that uh, the beads set good. And then when I get it on the bike, I'll adjust that pressure there. More than enough air. So before I go, I'll have to let some of that air out. Oh, my knees are killing me from kneeling here. January 10th, Friday, January 10th, and I'm uh, getting ready to go out again. Um, I'm just short of 88 degrees, which would be uh, 8 tenths of the way there, so uh, I'm getting closer. Um, at uh, a quarter of a degree a day, that get, puts me out 8 days. Um, I have been taking uh, Sundays off, so... Um, I'll, I'll take uh, today's Friday, I, I'll uh, bike today and tomorrow, I'll take uh, Sunday off, um, get some good rest on Sunday, and then, uh, and then uh, at a quarter of a degree a day I should be uh, done next Saturday. So um, actually I hope, uh, I hope I can do 20, 20 uh, miles a day actually ends up being about 21 miles a day. If I can do 21 miles a day, then I get done a couple days earlier. Doesn't make a huge difference, but I'm tired and ready to go home. A little bit cold this morning. Uh, I'm, I'm usually, uh, uh, amazingly on, on this expedition, I've not been um, cold a whole lot. Um, sometimes when I'm uh, biking my hands get uh, cold and I, I sometimes have a hard time uh, keeping my the hands warm but uh, other than that uh, for the most part I've been um, pretty comfortable sometimes sometimes my toes get a little bit cold um, but uh, I, I can usually take care of that okay sometimes my hands I just can't get them to be warm and and I've had to I've had to stop before because of the cold cold hands but for the most part they're okay so I've got some uh, water getting hot I'm gonna cook myself some breakfast and uh, and after after I eat breakfast uh, close up the tent and and get going next week I see an amazing parhelion and I run out of food it's 46.4 uh, miles left to go. Um, I have four meals, and uh, and so I don't have enough food to do the remaining distance. Um, but I'm going to do my best.